Hello and welcome to Michael and Ivanka's Grand Big Podcast. It's a great big podcast about everything. Um, where It's just a podcast where two of us um, figure out what we think about everything in the world. My name is Michael Forrest. And I'm Ivanka Magic. Um, I'm back in London in mm. my studio. That's exciting. Um, That's very exciting. It is very exciting. Um, and um, we're, 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 yeah, this week we're going to talk about, I feel like there's there should be more there. Hey, if you want to download my guide to becoming an influential podcaster and doing really well at things, go to this URL. Um, no, let's, let's, the subject, we're going to talk about how to cheat. And how to cheat. <laughs> it, was, it was a thought experiment I had earlier this week. I thought, like, if I were to cheat, what, how would I cheat? And actually, like, what the... What would I be? Do I even know what I would be trying to win at? Do I even know what I would be trying to achieve? And I thought as a thought experiment, it was quite good for like how how do you, how do you actually what do I actually want? What do I really want to? What would I cheat at? Not you know. And then how would I do that? And then like the kind of lottery conversation. Is there anything I can like just do without cheating? Um, probably. But then there's stuff about you know like cheating in games, life, business, politics, and then this you know sometimes. You cheat whilst technically following the rules and, you know, that's a different thing. I'm not cheating. You know, the rules are bad, so that's not my fault. But yeah, I'm so not, are you a I, cheater? Yeah. How much of a cheater well, are you? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to think, but that's why I was, th- I was thinking about it. All I can hear when you say, when you mention cheating was, you're only cheating yourself. Because, mm. <laughs> you know, people talk about cheating on diets and they talk about cheating yeah, on... I it's mean, like, well, I don't know. And then you've got, like, I remember... A a friend of a friend of mine, a child got given one of those things to measure their steps because uh, it was a project to get all the steps. So they kept giving the device to their parents to work the steps for it's, them. It's bizarre, and it's like, it? you know, it's the effort. Sometimes the effort of cheating seems to exceed the effort of doing the thing that you're supposed yeah. to be doing without cheating. And there's those kind of things. I don't know what I'd cheat at. I mean, yeah. and then I sometimes feel like I'm always cheating. <laughs> and then... <laughs> it's like, uh, but then maybe that's efficiency. I don't know. It's like, what's the least I can do to do this job properly? Uh, or how do I fit all these things in? Is that cheating? Am I cheating? One? I don't know. Am I cheating my yeah. child? Am I cheating my family? Am I cheating my garden? Am I cheating my job? What? Who am I cheating? I don't know. Am I cheating myself? <laughs> it's a very complex subject, actually. I hadn't realised yeah, how yeah. complex it is. It was. Uh, I definitely it was. And I. I don't. I don't. I, it, it's not. A mindset I'm in I like I feel like you can achieve as oh, much yeah. like if you start lying honest um I if you start like lying to get the things then there's too much freaking overhead but I I'm sort of interested in the idea of like what would you know how would how how Mac- Machiavellian what how, if you did bring that approach to life what could you change <laughs> be interesting anyway something to think about let's uh slide it up into the thing Is it going, Ivanka? Magic. It's going well on the uh, Adriatic island of Brach. Uh, this is the week in which my husband sat at the breakfast table going, I really need a holiday. <laughs> and that six year old turned to him, What are you talking about, Daddy? You're stuck on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then she, she really she goes, I mean, what we need to do now is get on a flight and go to Brighton, and then that can be our holiday. And then she <laughs> elaborated in, in, in a lot of detail, and we all were, felt very, very um, reprimanded, maybe the word, I don't know. <laughs> like, all right, all right, we're stuck on holiday. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> she's <laughs> expressing it. gratitude in your situation. That's, you know, she's well, on the right not, track. Well, she certainly put a nice positive spin on the whole situation of um not knowing where what's going on in the world uh so yes we're stuck on holiday which is you know uh been it's all right it's nice we found a nice beach yesterday cleaned it a lot one. Had to, yeah you can find you see i do like a wild beach and then you arrive at these places some of them and you think and everyone always says oh the sea washes the rubbish up <laughs> The sea washes the rubbish up. And there's this one beach that we refer to as Cold Beach because of all, yeah. it's got water sources under the sea. Anyway, so the water's really cold there, so not many people go there. And we cleaned it up a couple of years ago really thoroughly. Yeah. And now, at most, you ever find a little carrier bag of rubbish that perhaps the sea did 
wash up a little bit maybe or somebody forgot to pick up their sick forgot to pick up their cigarette butts mm. or something but it's very it stays really clean this other beach that we found is so beautiful and so disgusting in equal measures uh so we gave it a good clean but it's not done this is going to be this year's project i think uh but i did have to phone up the it's not our county our town our municipality mm. i think is the right word so i phoned the neighboring municipalities rubbish clearance department of their council and said i think this is your beach and i think you need to go and clean it up we've put everything in a pile for you but it needs mm. a lorry there is a lorry right. load of crap <laughs> uh, if you'll excuse my language including like the cabin off a little boat uh, oh, just mess just mess it's just awful anyway so we're going back tomorrow maybe to clear, mm. pick up some more bits that we can take away and we'll see what the lovely Anna from uh, the place I found what she achieved she did want to check if it was under their jurisdiction right. oh, anyway thanks for listening well, there you go. so Beach. I'll let you know how that goes beach it was lovely though sea was nice it's nice to have you find a fresh beach for yourself Do you, is it in regular use then is that why it's so messy or i think that fishermen congregate there hmm. and like it, clearly people get there they they there is a they i think there is evidence of large fish like tuna being sliced up a tuna that perhaps they're catching without the proper licenses hmm. <laughs> and so they are then butchering them there, whatever you do to a fish. Mm. Uh, and then, uh, so yeah, it's just and a so mess. It's like and it's like, guts. if you're if you're trying to live, it's not food, it's, pl no. it's plastic fishing plastic trays. Fish. Okay. And it's plastic, 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 plastic okay. everything, including a lovely little um, Kung Fu Panda I found. That was a little okay. bit of treasure we found. Mm. I'm sure Kung Fu Panda didn't want to end up in that kind of pollution situation. So he's now been liberated back into play. Uh, but yes, plastic, plastic bottles, beer, plastic, plastic bags, plastic fish crates, plastic polystyrene, lots of polystyrene because fish is packed in. So I don't know, maybe they've been stealing the fish. But anyway, whatever's happening, I'm watching them now. Okay. I am onto them that and they're because it's a beautiful spot. It's lovely shaded. We're always looking for shade. It is yeah. a total, uh, you know, kind of a misconception of people that live by the sea that they want to hang out in the sun we do not we spend a lot of time avoiding the sun mm. it's a beautiful beach Can't sit under this up. tree mm. go for a swim back into the shade lovely anyway that's my i, I could talk about this endlessly <laughs> uh, and there's no cheating to be done michael that's the problem you've got to pick up the rubbish there is no magical way of doing it which is really disappointing how's your week michael <laughs> Uh, my week's all right, I suppose. I've been um, I've been helping my brother-in-law with his Arduino code, who is someone that is the last person I would ever have expected to want to learn how to program. And Ooh. because I really, I, I just, I really felt like we were on different planets, to be honest. Like it was quite hard to like. But when I saw that he was like trying to learn this stuff and. I thought, right, okay, I'm going to put some time. I'm going to put some time into this. I've probably put like four or five hours into helping him now, like um, between like. But I'm sort of trying to like do stuff that will help me teach more people along the way because I always have this problem with teaching people to code. Which is, I don't know what it looks like to a like a beginner anymore. So yeah, I don't yeah. know what they're missing. I don't know what assumptions. I don't know if they're and you know they're putting a variable on a line and putting a semicolon and expecting that to do something. Still, it's like okay, you, this which is something I wouldn't even see at this point. Yeah. Or they're copy and pasting it in a certain way, and they don't know about functions, and they don't know about arrays, and they don't yeah. know about all these things that help you avoid copying and pasting code. So I've just been. But then the thing he was trying to do, actually, like it took me a while to figure out a good way to do it as well so i was i like recorded one 50 minute video of me trying to like just look this is how you should approach it and this is what it and i was like fuck how do arrays work in r do we even see like what do you do i can't pass a reference what do i what am i doing oh you gotta pass and then like a couple of days i'm like oh you gotta pass sorry this is so technical you gotta pass what? Yeah. the array first in item and then the number of items and then you can do it like that and it doesn't look too bad so i recorded a video yesterday it was like um 50 minutes <laughs> i can just send that to him look and just showed him like and he was like he's it's sort of like he keeps saying it's like opening his mind up to all this stuff and he's really great and he's really working hard and he said to me I said, look, because he was like, he was very like down on it a few days ago. And then um, 
then I was like, I want to kind of show you what it should be like. And then it was taking me a while to get that done. And then I sort of said, like, uh, he was kind of coming back to me. I was like, you just just don't give up. It's going to be OK. And he was like, I never give up. And I was like, that, if you want to get good at this, is the most important thing. The reason people don't get good at this sort of thing is that they give up when it gets too hard. Uh, because it will get too hard every single time. You'll be like, why am I doing this to myself? And if you don't have that, like grit to kind of push through the pain then and if you do have that if you're like i don't i'm not giving up on this then that's how you're going to succeed at it so even though it's you know he was like i like how you keep calling my code shit i'm like i did i was trying not to say it but like a couple of times it's i was like we'll just delete this shit <laughs> like, um, um but uh yeah but i think it's it's a rewarding experience to help someone always isn't it but then you start so, getting messages yeah. every 15 minutes going, oh, and they send you the code. And I was like, yeah, you've got to put like semicolons or it doesn't work. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, yeah. I mean, it's nice when you can sweep in and go, here, put a semicolon here. Ta -da! But you're also um, trying I've... not to just give them all the answers as well. Because he's doing like a master's in something like, so it's like, I'm not, I don't want to just tell you the answers, but I want to like show you the mindset without like filling it all in kind of thing. But. It's, it's interesting anyway. It is. I think that thing though about, uh, you know, when you re when you really know how to do something and you've forgotten what it looks like when you don't yeah. know, is part of my book situation. And that's why <laughs> you need like... to peek to speak to people that have never done it before or don't know anything about it. Like yeah. you're, um, uh, so uh, yeah, just to be able to see what their mindset is. Um, but yeah, that, so that's mostly my week. I'm thinking of getting a virtual assistant um, to help me send emails out and find out who influencers are and stuff like that, which I'm just trying to figure out if I can do it because um, <laughs> I think it might unlock a lot of stuff. So watch this space for my elation. I did, um, by updating my screenshots, I did double my sales last week, but I, the number of impressions halved. So it's the same number, but maybe if the impressions go back up next week, double wealth, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? But anyway, um, it's, like, it's crazy having your own thing. It's, you're just on the... You don't know what's going to happen. No, 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 Let's no, put, no, no. I feel like I kept cutting you off last week uh, with the clips. So I'm going to try and be a bit more mindful of whether you said to add more. Because there's this I thing where I'm, I'm trying to make it like punchy by throwing in the clips maybe a bit sooner than you might expect. But then I, I noticed a couple of times I was like, I think Ivanka had a, quite a lot more to say on that. And I just like interrupted and then did a clip. So I'll try harder this week. That was a uh, little footage of a grasshopper jumping off a shovel in slow motion. Uh, we did the garden at the weekend because it was totally overgrown, but um, it was it's fun to do it. It doesn't look like loads of them are nice. The rosemary's dead as hell. She just asked me. Anyway, cheating. What would like you know? Where are we? Have you? What's the last thing you cheated at? <laughs> oh, I don't know. How do you feel do about cheating like in cheat general? At. What do you I'd think like about it morally? At. What do I think about cheating? <laughs> Well, I think uh, it's been drummed into me from a very early age that cheating is a no-no and yeah. it's bad. And if you get caught, that's even badder. And uh, you don't want to do it because that's the best way to avoid getting caught cheating is to not cheat. Why is it, why is it bad to cheat? I don't know. It depends. I suppose because you're tricking somebody or something or... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, so cheating... What? Isn't it part of the game if you're cheating? Isn't it like if you cheat in an exam by looking over someone's shoulder, which is I would never even in a trillion years consider for fear of Jesus and all of the disciples of God <laughs> murdering me in my sleep. Um, <laughs> like, um, yeah, uh, I, yeah. I used to help I, other people cheat. But, um, in my, yeah, but then like, like in real school. life, in real life, like... Well, like People knowing how to all cheat the time. is exactly the same thing, isn't it? Sharon gets the um, the uh, plagiarism reports for these exams. It's gross how many students, medical, like very prestigious university medical students are just copying and pasting shit off the internet, like all the time. And it's like, what are you doing? 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> At least have the common decency to put it in quotation marks. And yeah, exactly, and reference it. Like, <laughs> it's all you got to do. It's all you got to do if it's university paper. If you, if, if, up until, what is it, PhD level, you're not allowed to have an original thought anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're supposed to regurgitate other people's shit. Uh, anyway, um, show how much you've read Aria like referencing all of these people et al. Uh, cheating. What was the last <laughs> thing that I cheated at? I don't know why cheating's bad. Yeah, it it's, is. It's you just, just don't just don't do it. The end. Don't do it. <laughs> I suppose you can look at it in game theory terms, which is if ever if, if if everyone cheats, nothing works anymore. So if everyone this cooperates, the, yeah. everything works. But then it opens it up to cheaters. But then if there's too we, many cheaters, yeah. then nothing works anymore. So that's like we, the game we, theory. Yeah. We currently have a six-year-old playing Uno who's constantly trying to cheat. <laughs> in a, uh, I've been trying to Can explain you describe to her. Uno? Just cause, oh, Uno you know. is a game with numbers and colours on cards. Mm-hmm. Are you familiar with are you no, Uno? No, not at all. No, okay, no so you've got, you got numbers. You keep talking about it. <laughs> <Do> you, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a, uh, a patented... I looked it up, but I'm none the wiser. Copy written. <laughs> well, yeah, I think it's... the the the. She's been able to play it since she was quite little because there's a junior version with animals. But basically, you're matching colours and numbers. And then it's got cards like a plus four. So if you put a plus, plus four down, the other per- your, and the objective is to get rid of your, all your cards. Yeah. So you can put down a plus two, plus four, and the other person has to pick up four cards or two cards. There's also a card for changing direction, forcing the next person to miss a go, okay. uh, various things. So, you know, you can, you've got your cards that you have that allow you to play the game and then you yeah. have these cards that allow you to maybe take advantage of the game or drive the game into your yeah. favour because you can sort of change the colour or mm. whatever or make get your... But, and I was trying... So my daughter is always trying to rig her, ha- her hand if she's mm. dealing to make sure she's got at least one plus four because she loves a plus four and she thinks it's the, you know, the pinnacle, the best <laughs> card. Yeah. So she tries to hoard plus fours and place them in the pack and all these kind of things that a six-year-old would do and i've been trying to teach her that actually the game's more it's really boring when she does that because <laughs> it's weird. not really the game you know so it's like uh, we've had more fun so now we sort of like when you play properly and so like, ha ha i've stopped you from winning i've blocked you you got down to mm-hmm. and when you've only got one card left you have to shout uno yeah and that's you know either you're about to win or someone's gonna give you a plus four or yeah. something or whatever so yeah we've been and oh no it's a good example of a game where cheating actually makes it really dull <laughs> where it's and cheating it's involves just like yeah. looking at someone else's cards yeah. or just i mean i cheat all rig, the time she's literally her. rigging the deck deck <laughs> and and then she tries to look at your cards but what she doesn't realize because she's six and i'm 46 is that most of the time i can see her cards <laughs> so sometimes i cheat to make the game last longer right or sometimes I chit, or I pretend I can't finish because I want her to, you know, like. Do you know what I mean? So it's like there's there's kind of a. So it's it's not this. It is cheating, but it's manipulating the game in your favour. Yeah. Well, isn't that an interesting? To- isn't that an interesting phenomenon? This thing that sometimes it's quite an effort to continue playing by the rules at something because someone's yeah. making it. Like I think maybe I've cheated at a card game with my family with my little siblings but it's because like if you're literally if you've got your cards open in front of me like <laughs> yeah, it's yes, really gonna... on yeah. your head like that would be my <laughs> yeah, just yeah, yeah. you've got to at least yeah, yeah. try like, to hide on. them like um, yeah. but she, she's got very good at holding you know because you can end up with 15 cards in your hand right. so she can do it but it's dead easy to look at her cards because she's only short <laughs> So yes, I cheat at Uno. Hello. I think that's why. I think that's why something like um, that's why something like uh, Dungeons and Dragons is probably interesting because it sort of takes out that because it's a human, a human computer it, doing yeah, yeah, like yeah, coming yeah. up with the rules. Well, not coming up with the rules, but coming up with the story as they story. go. It's like you can't really cheat because it's a person that no. was like, "What are you doing?" Like, so that's probably yeah, why yeah, that yeah. game's so appealing to nerds. Have you, have you played it? <laughs> no, I haven't. See, I have. Have you? It can be quite fun, yeah, mm. I have to say. But it's, anyway, yes, you but can't yeah, cheat. Sometimes it's hard <laughs> not to cheat. Or sometimes you're like, uh, like, at school, it's like, I I want to, I, I, I sort of, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to pass an exam. I'm trying to like, 
understand what they're trying trying to kind of get out of me and like yeah, what's yeah, okay yeah. what's not okay and like there's that weird ambiguity around it somewhere <laughs> like am i cheating i don't even know anymore <laughs> and like well exams um, are really weird because mm. i had this half education in yugoslavia where you have tests but the teacher sets a test and you have a oral examination for every subject so maths you'll do on the blackboard as well as having a test and it's in front of everybody. And, you know, we used to help people cheat by whispering things. Mm-hmm. I used to, when we used to do English dictations, I'd literally be going, is so that everyone could hear the sort of phonetic spelling of all the words under my breath. Mm-hmm. And then, but, but exams, as the English A-level sort of, and then university system, like this idea that you can go back and analyse past papers and come up with tactics for there's almost certainly going to be a question in this format and then a question in this format. That kind of data is not available to you in a Yugoslav school. You can't do that. And I I had no techniques for that. I had no knowledge of how to do that, no skills. And I wouldn't have called that learning. That's learning how to, like... I don't know if that's not, but that's what I got taught at university. I made friends with somebody who taught me how to do exams. Which right. I, I don't know that that was like, well, what's the point of that? <laughs> I don't understand. It's like, <laughs> what's the, what's the, why do I have to learn how to do? And I, you know, is that cheating? Or is that being really clever? Oh, fuck no. Oh, that's the thing. Sometimes they, they, they see, to, to some people, it, that seems, they seem synonymous, being clever and cheating. Like being yeah, clever yeah, enough yeah. to be able to get away with stuff that you know yeah. the T star 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 way. Um, um, so. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, but then I mean, I I had on the the other thing when this came up and you you we were talking about it earlier. I was like, I went for because um, I did electronic engineering, and I am a girl. Mm. <laughs> People had sort of very uh, you know low expectations of my skills. So I could manipulate an interview Mm. by talking about something. I remember arriving at a sponsorship interview, for which I got an offer letter, by the way. Just And uh, I turned up, and my hands were filthy because my car had broken down on the way, and I'd fixed the car, and I couldn't get all the oil off. Mm. And I was like, terribly sorry, my car broke down, so I had to, like, wire the thing. And this guy was so impressed that I had done anything to my car. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, you're an idiot, man. Because if I was a boy, so you'd be like, and let's move moving on. Yeah. But because I'm a girl, you think you're impressed by something that is not impressive. Hmm. And I think that's cheating. So it's like finding, using things that work to your advantage, like yeah. exploiting. It's like exploits. Exploiting, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's an exploit? Ex- so, yeah. you know, like, I'll be unwittingly using my white privilege male exploit day and night without even noticing. I'm trying to notice yeah. it a bit more, but like. Yeah, but I think when it, you don't notice it, it's not cheating. It's not cheating. You, well, but kind when of. You know, you'd, I, I think. Cheat, I think cheating does imply some active okay. intention. All right. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um yes, yeah, absolutely. I'm getting so I'm sort of noticing some chat from Aquatic Shank. He says he's a school level aqua, uh, MLG cheater, which I uh, major league gaming is that? What what is that? Um but they had hand signs ready for cheating and he says do you think the ability to cheat is a skill set and I think yeah that's exactly what, like it's yeah, a yeah, skill yeah. set that I have underdeveloped and it's probably like yeah, yeah. I but, don't know but, is there well, a place yeah. for it But I think learning in school like you know um I don't know learning how to to get the best out of your half hour in the library or whatever it is you know and and or swapping just, uh, homework questions with your friends or doing things together or whatever I mean these are part in a way this is like skills for later life yeah. <laughs> you know working out how to use your network blagging yeah. stuff the network thing <laughs> the blagging you know? all that thing but I think like for me like because I'm quite like rule fixated mildly spectrumy yeah. whatever like I am um, I, I really think that the, the biggest um thing that stops me wanting to cheat is that i like if you cheat at the game it doesn't feel like you won it doesn't feel like i won like if i won by like doing something you're not supposed to do it's like well i I just won a different game then i wanted to win this game and i suppose that like keys into like i want to feel like i had agency within this thing and won fair and square otherwise it doesn't feel like a win to me so i don't know um Mm. there is yeah i think 
but yeah but then sometimes the rules aren't clear and yeah, on and sometimes when it's like it's when like you clear, go to the, you know, yeah <laughs> when you go to the six-year-old uno player it's like well these are boring rules i don't like these rules i want different <laughs> rules <laughs> these are my rules <laughs> these like, are my rules i'm making up new rules and the new rule is that this is what it does all right and then uh, with her so. uh, these developers <laughs> they uh, they make up a game where each turn you make up a rule but you don't tell anyone else the rule i don't believe that charlene i think they were trolling you <laughs> i don't know anyway <laughs> I was thinking about just that, the the role of technology in like these these games and like pub quizzes and things like uh, like once you could Google something. Well, first, like the idea that googling something is cheating is kind of stupid because it's the easiest thing in the world to do and you can get by. I always felt like the idea that you were supposed to learn all these facts and then like it was t t looking like that that sort of fact retention was going to become less and less significant as we just we could use our intelligence for the kind of like behavioural whatever that's uh, what i say <laughs> or not but that, that technology like a pub quiz just being able to like would you like google the answer in a pub quiz that wouldn't be cool especially when there's a cash no, prize where's the fun but like that is a I'm good way to cheat is using technology <laughs> and like is making a script like is that i feel like it's an advantage for me in, in business stuff if I can make a script that automates something that would take someone else with their business like hours a week to do. That's not cheating, though, is it? But it's cheating if it's like you're not allowed to. But what if they don't know about Google yet and they haven't made that a rule yet? That's when you're like, they don't. Yeah, that's when that. it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's when it's dodgy. <laughs> but it's like, I think there's like different kinds of, of, of cheating. Like, no, I mean, not different kinds of cheating or. Mm, Oh, sorry. I'm thinking about. Uh, uh, oh my God! I can't get my sentences out. Today. <laughs> I'm thinking about things like the difference between being cheating out of laziness. Right. I'm going to copy something, or I'm going to ask someone to do it for me and then take credit or whatever. There's a kind of laziness cheating. Mm. Then there's like uh, fun cheating, like looking at your six year old cards. Right. You know, no harm will come of this kind of a cheating. Well that's my that's where I, that's how I sleep at night. And then there's like nasty Machiavellian well, maybe not Machiavellian nasty cheating, like lying taking advantage, cheating. lying, and cheating, manipulating, being just bad. Cheating. Which has become synonymous with just business practice, like that. And this, is what I was complaining about last week in London, that uh, is, is like, like someone coming in good faith as a musician wanting to play some shows in London and make it, and then they're just being businesses that are all geared around just like harvesting that and spitting it out, and just basically like providing false prop hope to to these yeah. people. Like, there's a lot of that. Like, a good way, and it's, it's interesting. Like, a good way to make money in the music industry is not so much to make music and make a that's a very hard way to make money but the the market for exploiting people's dreams and making big promises to them yeah, <laughs> and then yeah. selling them a product like I'll, we'll do a press release for 300 quid i'll produce your album for like x amount of track and maybe you'll be the next xyz like it's 99.9 percent .9 unlikely but you've got the money from from the dreams that they had and that's not cheating that's just a business idea and that's okay yeah, but that's yeah, something yeah, that i would like a... not ever want to do because that's yeah you know just exploitative nice. have, have you have i told you the story of mm -hmm. the i met this irish guy once here in croatia and we were talking about the people and he's like thing about croatians is like you know you could, i could leave two thousand euros in cash on this table go away come back it'd still be here nobody would touch it but they will try and sell you a piece of land that doesn't belong to them. <laughs> it's like, because the sort of like, um, you know, that is work. Like coming up with a scam mm. to cheat somebody out of something is work. And if you didn't notice the scam, <laughs> that's your problem. <laughs> you should have noticed, you know, I'm taking it. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, it's all, it's almost like, uh, a game it is a game yeah. it's like tax avoidance stuff it's a game how can I turn this how, how can I, I do... how can I do this and it's like uh, and for somebody that I think that's another kind of cheating as well which is like yeah. but like, like Sharon talks about this when I sort of talk about certain things Sharon's Sharon sort of 
glazes over a bit because in Italy there is a much more of a culture of it's like a lot more socially acceptable to to talk about how you've gamed the system to get what you need and like getting yeah. you know that little oh I'm just going to get one over on the next person and you know you should be you shouldn't be such a a, a mark or you shouldn't be so stupid that like <laughs> that I can get this past you there's a bit a lot more of a culture of that and that's partly because their bureaucracy and their, their uh, box. Oh, it's reminding me of my second vaccine dose on Monday. Um, is is because the government is a, is such a sort of corrupt bureaucracy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that you've got to have a game. That yeah. The only way to get through it is by like cheating. They've turned it from like an efficient bureaucracy that supports people into something that the only way to get anything is well, to know yeah. someone. And like you've got that, haven't you? Where you are? Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, I mean, you've got it. We, we, this exact thing came up in conversation this week. We were talking about um, uh, Amazon and their efficiency, right? Mm. We were talking about Nick did loads of seasons, right? Mm. As they did ski seasons. And he used to meet and greet tourists. And he had the, all the seasoners had a very variety of scams going on, mm. which would mean because they got paid very little. Also, some people we know who did seasons did things like you know have two receipt books, one for the that, that got declared to the company, one that was backhanders, and all this kind of stuff. And it's like we were talking about how. In order to get away with it, you need to have you needed to have a believable level of legitimate work going on, mm. so that the company didn't notice the bits that you were skimming or that you'd come up with a little game or whatever it had. Mm. And then you we're comparing that to like Amazon's Time on Task app thing, yeah. and it's like there is something about human nature, something that makes life feel nicer if you can make a game out of it. And if you've efficiencyed the crap out of it to the point where somebody's too scared to go to the loo at work yeah, because yeah. they don't understand how much time off task is allowed, you have taken out an element, I think, of human nature, of human behavior that makes life fun. Sometimes mm. you just want to win at well, something. <laughs> and cheating like, implies uh, that there's a system, doesn't it? That... Um like and the more complex that system is like it if, if it's not like an actual system with rules and like procedures then it's like a social contract yeah, uh, yeah. that's just like just sort of like recognized in the culture that you know maybe no one's put their finger on it but like yeah the more the more you sort of systematize something that i don't know you're trying to make it harder to cheat as well and i find law yeah. like that like they just keep adding on laws to try and make it harder to cheat but then it comes back to this thing where it's sort of like easier to cheat as a result because there's so many weird loopholes that emerge as a result of these laws and like other yeah. laws being written on top of or, them and, or, or yeah. they they hurt the people that that you know they 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 hurt people that are out so like you know refugees get hurt in a lot of or you know asylum seekers get hurt in a lot of immigration uh, mm. laws and they get they, they get even more restricted and it's like these are the other why are you picking on these poor people <laughs> like whereas the you know they, they've they've mm. got for them it's harder to game it yeah, it's, yeah, they don't yeah, have yeah. the resources to game it compared to an amazon that's got the resources to game tax avoidance to to the max and the excuse is always well it's not illegal it's like well it's but it's immoral you know so it's there's there's Oh, you know, a bit of cheating's all right, I think. <laughs> yeah, a bit of cheating's all right. That's good. That's uh, that was uh, the weird thing in Trafalgar Square. I just showed there's this uh, ice cream with a cherry and some insects and a drone on top of it, which we, we went into town on Wednesday to celebrate the end of our lockdown, uh, of our quarantining coming back from Italy and for Sharon to celebrate her Italian victory and me to mourn um, <laughs> or whatever. I don't care. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's in Trafalgar Square in central London. Um, uh, we've got a question, another question from Aquatic, like uh, saying, isn't lazy cheating just you being efficient? And I, and I sort of, well, I find it annoying when programmers say, well, I'm lazy, so I automated that. I'm like, that's not lazy. That, that's only lazy if you think there's some sort of moral value to doing a 
dumb repetitive task that could be automated so i don't even see the i don't even see like there's this idea i'm lazy so i automate but actually like it takes quite a lot of work to automate something lazy cheating i guess would just be like uh, you can be talking about what some programmers i think are mislabeling it lazy cheating but it's actually like just being good at something and automating well, the right thing yeah. but other times it's just like okay there's something on wikipedia i've got five minutes before i've got a hand in my essay i'm just going to paste it in yeah that's not efficient that's just cheating that's just well it's also <laughs> not but, but i think there's something about this of um because it came up as well on this uh the, the the book I got some feedback on one of the the sections and I'm like well there are tools that do this in terms of analysis and I'm like well I, I wouldn't ever you know like you've got to know how to do the thing properly in the first place mm. in order to be become efficient or yeah, to automate okay. it like you can't there's something about I do you know what keeps coming to me <laughs> is watering my garden Right. It's the it's so much work every day. It's at least forty five minutes to an hour. It takes bloody an ages. System. Well, this is it. But and then I've got to kind of change the design of my garden a bit because right. I don't want to. Do you know what I mean? So it's like actually, there's going to be work involved in me working out how to eliminate yeah. this task. And I think that's the sort of. Um, but yeah, I think lazy cheating is. Uh, yeah, if you don't depends. know how many times you're going to do the task, then it might feel better to just keep. Because I saw, I, I, you know, I saw Sharon like fighting with something the other day. I was like, I feel like you could like reverse engineer the URLs for those downloads that you're having to click through three pages for and just generate them in a spreadsheet and click on them. But obviously, like you're in the middle of it, you're trying to get it done. But and then she had to do them all again, and I was like yeah this is why <laughs> this is why i would never do that by hand and at least spend like a few minutes trying to see like just let's look at the network tab in firefox and see like is this a predictable url or is it like a hash or something but um it's it's definitely like it's efficient you don't know when something's going to be more efficient uh, but i don't know I, I feel like this is a vague tangent and is it cheating i don't know it's just like choosing where to p funnel your time in it um yeah um, yeah. I, I don't think automation is cheating and I don't think automation is lazy <laughs> I think it's inventing yeah mm. um, anyway yeah. yeah I don't know uh, so like you, you've kind of like created some categories I was thinking like there's there's cheating in a self-contained game that has like a clearly defined end point like an exam or a game Uno for example um, yeah. but sometimes there's cheating for a better result there's like i if i just figure out how to spam ten thousand people's emails before like because i found this loophole or like i i pay for these influences or, or like I, some indian click farm or whatever it is before the platforms have realized that that's a thing like uh, i i'm gonna get these kind of spikes of results that i could never get without cheating and um i suppose like that applies to politics you're never going to get into that top spot that prime minister job without doing a lot of cheating unless something changes <laughs> and that may well, be fundamental well, human nature i don't know controversial like is there uh, a limit uh, yeah. that it, so i'm wondering that's that's my thought experiment like are we limiting ourselves by not cheating well i think there's a there's a uh, you know, like I think there's something fundamental to our nature that requires us to cheat, and that's where how we invent stuff as well. <laughs> like you come up with stuff, don't you? It's like on the on the on the cheating efficiency. Where I think it's weird, or or, or where that where I think it's it's not it doesn't work, or it's it, it's to no one's benefit. Is like a boring repetitive task to be automated. Great, mm. something that actually you know. If we flip the garden watering thing as like an evening meditation of slowly yeah, walking yeah, around yeah. the garden, walking everything, why do I want to make it an automated yeah, yeah, task? Yeah. What am I get? What what what? Who benefits? Yeah. I've got to. Do you know, so it's like a, I think that there's there's some kind of decision scale that yeah. goes. Do you know what this thing? It's efficient not, enough. Not everything has to be faster. No, like not every, all, Not all time needs to be saved. Sometimes yeah. it's quite nice. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. it's like a, or just or sort of like you often get these headlines like how to three cheat ways to get bigger muscles in two minutes a day <laughs> or like how to cheat at the blah blah. blah. And it's like, well, do you know what? I quite like 
doing 12 reps rather than <laughs> one <laughs> it's like a, i don't know maybe i don't um, actually do repetitive exercise of that form you know, but you know what i mean it's like a, i felt like sometimes yeah. i feel like i've discovered a cheat code for life like the, when i discovered the cold showers i was like cheat code amazing yeah. <laughs> like but i have to say like i'm doing the cold ones and i'm struggling to get that like excitement that i used to get from it now and it's just like it's cold but i'm not going ah and then like smiling to myself afterwards because it was so unpleasant or whatever it was or i got used to it now it's just like well i'm doing it but i've just changed my flipping baseline <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 oh that's annoying when that happens yeah oh you need a new cheat you need a new oh, cheat. Yeah, you need a new cheat. Uh, so I'm, I want to bring uh, Boris Johnson into the conversation because I saw him on the news yesterday and he's doing this line at the moment that you can't make the poor areas, you can't make the poor areas richer by making the rich areas poorer. And then there was some vox pops at the end where people are buying that idea in a posh area with nice like boutique shops, uh, buying it hook, line and sinker. And it's like, yes, you can. <laughs> hey yes you can you give less money to the rich areas and give it to the poor areas then yes that totally works so for a start it's just like wrong but for the other <laughs> the other thing is it's a complete like straw man argument because like the people in the rich area think that they're rich but they're not they're poor like they're just as poor as the poor people it's the billionaires we're talking about so like he's really like done that bait and switch on people i don't know if that and he's a he's he is someone that will um say whatever he needs to say and if he finds a good line we're going to level up whatever the king hell that means like yeah. he'll spout that off every five minutes and he'll just do whatever works with no you know with no like plan or game plan and dom has talked about this plenty but um i i i i, I just wanted to talk about that i don't even know it's it's it factors into this conversation in as much it, as he is it a does it, it does factor in uh, but i think it all comes back to who or what are you cheating yeah you know it's like and it, if it's like if you're cheating on an exam okay mate well you're avoiding learning something you might do better mm -hmm. uh, you know like and then if you're cheating in politics actually or if you're spinning a line to people that will actually end up making the world a worse place like pretending you're recycling your plastic when you're not recycling your plastic, yeah. whatever it might be like like what are you cheating and what are the consequences of that cheat and who's going to have to pay the price for your cheat yes what exactly the, who you know, will pay so in an exam it's pay? like it's like I mean, either you're going to pay or the reputation of the university is going to get, like someone's going to hire someone from this university or whatever it is and be like, this person doesn't seem to know anything. Like they yeah. said they knew all this stuff, but they don't. But like really, you're cheating yourself. Although yeah. exams are stupid and I hate them and I don't like academia but and still. academia is a synonym for irrelevant. So, sorry, academic <laughs> is a synonym for irrelevant is my philosophy on that, but sorry. Um <laughs> Well, maybe that's the topic for next week. Maybe. Uh, I don't uh, know how well I can back it up. But as with all the freaking, like, the, 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 the reputation and status stuff that goes into it as well and, like, exploiting young girls and... Ugh. Anyway, oh. academia <laughs> seems gross to me. Um, but, yeah, like, in exams, really, if you're just not learning something that you're supposed to be learning, you're, you're the one that's going to pay. But politics is utterly self-interested yeah, yeah. you're gonna like lie and cheat to get your way into a position of power and really it's just everyone that thinks that by doing what you wanted they were going to get something back that didn't is who pays and that can yeah. run to the millions of people when it comes to politics yeah. yeah yeah so i think i think for me that's the that's the bottom line it's like who <laughs> What what are the consequences? Who pays? A little bit of who pays? Is it you know if I'm going to cheat on my pro diet? Crime. Yeah, and too well. much cheating is being done. The gross thing is so much cheating, and so much of the people that pay is like they've rinsed the poor for every single penny they've got now. Like no one's got any money for anything if they're poor, and now they're doing the middle class. We're going to cut interest rates and like not let you have any savings anymore. Like they're trying to do that, and they're just like trying to just they're just rinsing out each freaking whatever you think of social classes. But like it's um, it just it's never the right people that are paying. <laughs> no, <laughs> it isn't. So yeah, there we go. I think that's my that's my. Uh, I've got the. That's I, your conclusion. Let's do. Let's do. There's, an there's a cheating matrix in my head okay. that is like, 
<laughs> who pays? Was who it worth pays? it? What's was it okay? Yeah. Let me put a thing on. Right. I I um I just want to even though we're kind of running longish, I just wanted to just come back to that whole um, thought experiment idea of like what would I cheat at? And for me, it's like okay, I'm I, I'm trying to get this business of mine to. I am in a growth stage. I need to grow. I don't need to grow forever. Uh, meaning conference. I don't need to grow forever, but I do need to grow. Um, in order to be able to sort of employ some more people and really r- achieve my vision, achieve my like goals, I need to grow. So I need to be working on that. Um, so what would I, uh, like once I've grown to a certain size, I'm going to keep it to under like 80 and like we're going to prune. We're not just going to keep growing bigger and bigger. <laughs> That's what I was thinking yesterday. Um, but um, how would I cheat with what I've got out there? And then like the, the, the main thing I came up with was um, I, I guess I'd like hack social media influencers accounts and get them to tweet all my stuff and say amazing things about it. It's <laughs> the main one. <laughs> and I had some other ideas. It was like, but it, it makes you think like, what do I want? Like, I guess I just want more people to discover what I'm doing and go, oh, yeah, that's cool. And then buy it. <laughs> or stream it well, or... well i think i think in that in in your world of needing to grow it's mm. like you know is if you had money to spend loads of money on marketing mm. um is that you know i think this is where where sometimes people get caught up in the idea that in a way marketing is cheating yeah and and it, and it and it because you know like well if the thing was good enough people would pick up on it anyway just discover it naturally but nonsense like, i see like i've got one of my one is make up wild lies about the efficacy efficacy of my products and it's like that's just marketing isn't it <laughs> just, that's the whole game no. <laughs> it's not about making up well, lies no no it's not but it's about like but i think when you're the guy making it like it's very hard to like big up some minor feature but like really this is like apple's things where they go through each minor feature for 10 minutes and talk about how many brilliant problems it's going to solve in your life it's just not something i ever make time to do probably i should just be you know you go like into the fine detail and then you don't lie anything but you just have to vastly overstate the importance relative to how you feel about it um so you know but i could just lie and say it's going to make you live an average of five years longer if you use you this app. Do that. You just say say there's make a fake certificate from a <laughs> from like some I medical think there are laws study. against that, Michael. Yeah, but it's about there's no, there's no good law if you don't get caught. <laughs> just don't get caught. Yes, that's one point we haven't talked about at all. I'm not talking. About, I'm not saying caught. I'm going to do any of these things. I'm just saying I thought it would be an interesting brainstorm to see how I would cheat. Like just kill my competitors with denial of service attacks maybe and <laughs> do a big campaign <laughs> I don't know, like, stop paying my um, studio rent and just squat you know just exploit the this these children by just not paying for them to have facilities that would work probably for a bit yes. but a lot of these cheating strategies they expire pretty quickly and it's a life on the run that's the problem you end up with a life on the run and th- i think that applies to everything like boris johnson's kind of must be always feeling like he's on the run from some scandal because he's yeah. just lying his way through but so like if you enjoy being like a con man and you're up for a life on the run and you don't want to form any real lasting relationships then you know be a cheater but yeah it's just not a good way to be happy at the end of the day no i don't and i think that's what that we haven't covered that at all but actually yeah i think they, they well, well you talked about guilt and mm. you know all the, yeah, the powers right. of the of the heavens coming down and destroying <laughs> yes. you if you cheated but i think that's the point that like, i yeah. i you know i can i can i am amused by yeah. cheating at uno with my child <laughs> yeah. but but i am but i can i can handle it but most other things it's like is it worth the guilt and the yeah. life on the run and i've uh, not even talked about worth getting caught yeah getting caught and we're watching the sean bean thing where it called time where he's in prison it doesn't seem very nice in prison at all no um, <laughs> <laughs> but also i think from what i heard i heard an interview with uh what's her name the the whistleblower person and i should have on the intercept i'll link to it i can't remember she's super famous uh trans activist person but that did the whistleblower on the 
was it the Tony Blair stuff? Anyway, um, or no, no, it was the um, NSA phone hacking thing. Uh, but I forget that Chelsea Manning, is that right? Um, talking about how prison is like, the main problem with prison is that the relationships that you create get uh, short lived because you keep getting moved and people get moved all the time. And it's actually like you against the guards rather than everyone against each other. So it, I think the way TV portrays it is not really accurate to from hearing about someone who spent many years in prison um it, it sort of sounded like i think we get the kind of dramatized soap opera version of it and i think the sean bean thing we're watching is definitely a version of that but um the the the, the reason we have guilt and the reason we have shame and the reason we don't that you have to sort of override some basic human emotions in order to be able to cheat because we evolution has uh as Shaz says still try not to go to prison i agree <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, is uh, this is evolutionary that. like we 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 have evolved behaviors because in game theory because game theory shows us that overall it's better to freaking cooperate than to get one over on each other even though you can sort of do it if you do do it then you end up destroying your environment um oh we haven't even talked about cheating by doing the environment maybe next time um but the, yeah there's a reason that it feels bad it's because we've a thou- millions of years of evolution <laughs> or certainly thousands of human e- evolution have, have kind of trained us to realise that uh, have trained our DNA to realise that it's usually not the best policy and that's why that's why so A feel it feels bad to 90% of people to do it or 99% of people to do it but it's why because most of us do feel bad about doing it it is actually quite fruitful if you get good at it to learn how to do it isn't it yeah, we haven't gone anywhere near like political activism and sometimes being sent to prison is a way of making a statement. Yeah. Like you're not crass. So, you know, there's, 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 it's there's slightly a lot to talk or, about. Yeah. Is it worth? I hadn't realised that this was going to be such a fun yeah. topic. We should do it again. <laughs> we should do it again. Cheating part two. We'll see. We used to do a lot more part twos, didn't we? We're like, we haven't done a part two for years. Um, but let's let's round that up now and I'll press my F1 yeah. button and we'll go to the titles. And yeah, the moral is just try not to go to prison. No, that's yeah, not the moral because prison. try not to go to prison by not cheating, not by cheating well. That's the moral. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Thanks for listening. If you like the podcast, go to grandpodcast.com. I added the Twitch button in there now. So I think if you, I think, hang on, let me check this. If I go to grandpodcast.com now, does it have our live stream in the top of it? It does. There we are. So if you literally just come to grandpodcast.com on a Thursday oh, morning. Pulling faces. That's where we are. We live there. And the rest of the time you can just follow and then you'll, you, you'll get a thing when we go live. So, um, yeah, uh, the, where can people find you on the internet? Ivanka. People can find me at Ivanka on Twitter. You can find me at Michael Forrest on most things on TikTok. Find me on t- I did two TikToks this week, just little ones. I, it's interesting. T- oh, sorry. TikTok's interesting. I found out what the algorithm is. It's They show it to like 200 people. And then if that goes well, they show it to 600 people. And then if that goes well, they show it to like wider circles. And it's not related to how well your other videos did. Um, it's just that one thing, like it just tries it out with different sizes of groups. And I don't know, I, don't, I think because it's less targeted and, and per video, it's, it, you do sometimes just get a huge thing. But I keep, I keep putting these videos up and they get 600-ish views. Uh, but it's like either 150-ish or 600-ish. Uh, because I think I'm failing to get to that. I, it's like I need to get to level three now of whatever that is, 10,000 or like 1,000 or something. But yeah, so I, I'm, I, I want to do more stuff on TikTok. But it's quite good. I did one about my jeans. Anyway, um, what am I saying? Yeah, you can find me on TikTok. I don't know. You can't really find me on TikTok. Just come to michaelforestmusic.com or goodtohear.co.uk. And I am working on squares.tv. So if you hear this in the future, please come by because that's where all my attention is going, even though it's very much a work in progress as of today. Uh, but you can sign up to the mailing list already so and tell me what you're, what sort of things you're interested in that are related to the site. I haven't done a lead magnet yet, so I haven't, can't offer you anything for free, but you will get the free things once I start making them. Anyway, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.